Where's the half ripe one? Straight about straight here. Oh, there's another one. Should we get that too? You can. There's a lot of biotech propaganda out there that the GMO papaya saved the papaya industry in Hawaii. And I believe it's the opposite. We had a virus problem here, and they introduced the GMO papaya, and the industry has gone down since. We immediately lost our most lucrative market, the Japanese market, because in Japan they just don't accept any kind of GMO food. The Japanese market was over 60% of our papaya industry. The GMO papaya always gets the lowest price. I think it's very, very frustrating and sad for the small farmers, and they're the ones that have gone out of business. The GMO papaya is sold unlabeled in our supermarkets and in our farmers markets. People take them home, eat them, and throw the seeds out. And so that's in their compost pile, it's in our landscape, People were not aware of how fast and how far the GMO gene was going to spread and contaminate. And what we found was that it's 50% on this island. Half of the papayas that are not intentionally planted as GMO papayas have either some seed or tree contamination. We've also found that the university seed source is contaminated with GMOs. And this spring we partnered with Greenpeace and they came over here and showed us how to do a decontamination. We went to a small mixed organic farm right in the middle of the GMO papaya growing area and took down those trees and properly disposed of them. I'm Chris Kobayashi. I live in Waioli Hanalei on the island of Kauai. Born and raised here on uh, my family's farm. Our farm is totally organic now. We, we don't use any chemicals or pesticides. We have about 10 acres in taro. Now Molokama, that's where we get our water from. It comes from that mountain. I think the university, they started genetic modification research um, on uh, three varieties, actually, of taro. They say that it's to um, maybe uh, help the taro get more disease resistant to some of our diseases. You know, the researchers didn't ask the taro farmers if this is what we wanted. They never asked us. And um, most farmers are against the genetic modification of taro. People might think I'm crazy, but it's, I feel like I can hear the taro crying, crying to be heard, you know, for what's happening. And when they start modifying the genes and manipulating the genes, they're doing something, crossing sacred barriers. It seems so unholy. And I'm, I'm taking the hard stand on taro, and that is no GMO taro in the field no GE research of taro in Hawaii. They cannot guarantee keeping that research in the lab. Pico uli uli. Pico varieties except for the pico ula ula was more commonly planted in the uh, loi type. For over a thousand years the Hawaiians grew taro. Some of the varieties can sustain the, the warm temperatures down in the Lo'i. They were so in tune with their environment that certain varieties were very adept to their conditions. The Hawaiians knew which varieties to plant. Diversification. Aokupuna has understood the need to grow variety. Look at your environment. What can I grow here? What variety would do better? It hurts me when I hear that they're going to save the Hawaiian varieties of taro. Because actually, they don't need to be safe. They're here. The private corporations and the university researchers are now converting the universities themselves into private laboratories for research that will eventually be patented and converted into the private property of a few. Uh, and this is uh, what is known as biopiracy. We found out that the University of Hawaii they had already patented our taro. And we said, no, it's very simple. 
you cannot own our ancestors. You cannot own our, our eldest brother. Haloa. Haloa was the firstborn. Haloa the taro is more important than Haloa the man. And Haloa the man's only job is to make sure that Haloa the taro survives forever. Because Haloa the taro's job is to feed the man. We Kanaka Maoli are claiming our inalienable right to our lands and to the biodiversity of our lands. This is the heart of what we are in terms of our survival, our ability to maintain our health. And we were successful and it was a really, really good battle because a week later we heard, oh, they're ready to drop the patents now because they've been taking too much negative press. <clears throat> ready? And we ripped those patents right in half. That was the signal to the whole biotechnology industry. You cannot own our ancestors. Seed has within itself an intelligence that it can genetically modify itself to respond to the environment. By choosing the path of genetically engineered agriculture, we are narrowing significantly the amount of seed varieties that are available to the farmer today. The companies that are developing genetically engineered crops are attempting to control what farmers can plant and therefore what can be grown and what people can eat. Seed saving and improvement of seed is a, is a traditional right that all farmers and gardeners should have. And today, because of our patent laws, with genetically engineered seed, this is now illegal. Biotech companies always claim that this technology is there to feed the world. And I believe it's exactly the opposite. When you have a GE crop, every single plant in that hundreds and hundreds of acres is exactly the same. So there is no more biodiversity. And when something goes wrong with one of these crops, it goes wrong everywhere. Over 30 countries have banned GMOs in some form. People have just said they won't buy it. Here in Hawaii, we are subsidizing these biotech companies, giving them tax incentives to come here and do business. There really isn't support for organic farming, sustainable agriculture, local marketing approaches. The state got to change how they think. You know, why depend on GE and GMO? Hawaii is a niche specialty market for amazing things, coffee, pineapple, banana, flowers. We can actually support ourselves with this. Instead, we now have uh, consumers in Japan and Europe saying no to produce from Hawaii because of genetic contamination and pollution. We're going in the wrong direction for economic development. We need to reassess it. This is another one of Monsanto's fields. It's up in uh, Holehua. Um, again, they're spreading out over our island. We don't want them here. We don't need them here. We just like them, wrap it up and go home. <laughs>